So we're on our way to the grocery store because we heard that groceries are gonna become a little bit more limited. And although I would rather not panic, it seems like everybody else will panic. And so then when we need groceries, which we do need groceries right now, so it's not... That lighting though. <laughs> but I wanna get some meat and things because we're running low. And our next grocery order isn't until Tuesday or Wednesday, and now it is Friday. So Rachel and I are on our way Hi. to, <laughs> to um, a grocery store that's actually farther away from our house because it's in a more rural area. And get Duncan after. And apparently we have to get Duncan <laughs> afterwards. And we brought Lysol wipes so we can wipe down the, cu the cup. <laughs> So, um, and I look like a train wreck, no makeup on, but you know, you put a mask on my face and no problem. <laughs> so we are ready to go. Hey, Rachie. Hi. Hi. Just going up for some <laughs> surgery. Of course, we had to get iced coffee for Miss Rachel. <laughs> so in case you're wondering what my hair looks like when it dries by itself, this is what it looks like. I have very wavy hair. When I was a little girl, I had ringlets. I think I've talked about this before, but you spray it on before you blow your hair dry. Your hair is smoother for like three washes, and I think it really does work. The only issue I have with it is I tend to get flatter hair, like at the top of it. Even though I concentrate it from like here down, somehow it just flattens my hair a little bit, but I figured right now I really need it to be a little bit less frizzy so I can manage it easier. So I'm going to do this and I'll let you guys see how it works. So before I do my hair, I'm gonna do skincare. My skincare is almost gone. We're trying not to purchase anything, like only bare, bare necessities. With Doug without a job, we're in this quarantine. Jobs are just not getting posted lately and we just know, have no idea how long it's going to last. So a lot of my skincare has been used up, which is bothersome to me, but it is what it is. So the things I'm trying to just, I will not run out of because I can't, would be cleanser. So you guys know I love the hydrating CeraVe. This is a lot. I have a ton of it. So the things I do have for daytime are, I have this skin renewing gel oil by CeraVe as well. So my skin is healing from where I took out the Melia. For daytime, even though it says PM, I use the CeraVe PM. The AM has SPF that I don't like because I use my own other kind of CeraVe SPF. And I put this over the renewing gel. That's it, that's the only products I have. I still have this, is the Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant, which I do not use daily. I use it like maybe once a week, something like that. So I do have this, and this is expensive stuff, but I have quite a bit of it. It's a powder that you add water to. I should show you guys my get up. <laughs> my, let me go grab my phone. This is my get up for me to record. I have my little, ring light that I can put in. My phone is kind of propped on the top of there with my microphone on top. I divide my hair out in half. I'm gonna spray this stuff in. I should say, you need the heat, making it be straight as it, the heat hits it. So that's what makes it activate. Now my hair just feels so soft. Okay, so I am gonna eat some lunch. So I have some leftover turkey chili, of course. But I love that on Purple Plan, I can also have a potato with it. So I have the potato cooking in here and so quickly add it. So that with my turkey chili is zero points. So I love that. I may have already had three cups of coffee. Yeah, and it's noon. So. I usually like to have a cup of coffee around two o'clock, so I might have four cups of coffee. I know that's bad, but come on, we're in quarantine, right? This is what my day has gone to. <laughs> I'm cleaning the hair, oh, it's so gross, out of my Revlon blow dryer. But I'm also like, there's no way of getting this stuff out. That's like the filter. 
So I'm using a tweezer and you can pull out the little fuzzies and it will make your blow dryer do a better job because it's got air getting to it. But right now it's like completely clogged. Look at how dark all of that is fuzz that I need to get out. We took these lamps down to paint to get it all centered and I was gonna change them out because I just wanted to change it, but we can't afford to spend the money on that right now. So I'm gonna put them back up. I do like them, it's just I was tired of them. So we had to recenter them and now Doug is gonna go ahead and put them up. So I made a decision. I really like, I really liked, I should say, this lamp. And I still do like it, but I don't like the burlap shade on it anymore. I just wanted to lighten everything up in here and make it be much more whites and creams. And the shade of that is just a little bit too dark. We can't spend money. So I am thinking about spray painting this. There's plastic on the inside. You actually can see the reflection of the plastic underneath. So I'm thinking that it will spray paint and I'm pretty sure I have white spray paint. So I think I'm gonna actually try that today. So this one, this one was in our living room and I just don't really want the blue anymore. So I'm gonna give it a texture, hopefully. I'm really hoping this works. I'm using this. All right, so this was pretty much a disaster. This has got just grossness, it just, Ugh, I do not like it at all. It's not even really white. It's kind of a milky looking. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's pretty much a disaster. <laughs> I don't like it. It's going to have to do until we can spend money again. But oh my goodness, this was not a good idea. One thing I've been doing every day is taking this lotion. CeraVe makes a foot I don't know, it's foot cream for with SA lotion or salicylic acid is what the SA stands for. And it is like double the amount of the cost. And I have compared these in ingredients and they're exactly the same, like in the same order. So it doesn't make sense to buy the foot cream from there that costs so much more when you can buy this. So every day I've been trying to remember to put this all over my feet and then put socks on and my feet are just so much softer because of it and I just have a struggle with calluses because I walk around barefoot all the time. <laughs> so guys don't buy the foot one of this, buy this big tub one. I'll link it below. So do you think there's a nest in there? What are you gonna do with them? Put them in the park. Oh uh, but what if they're babies? Give them leaves. Put them in the lead. And the mice saga continues. <laughs> How many were in there? They're still stuck to the mom? Oh, the poor babies. You put them in the leaves, right? Hey, Rach, where are you going? A date. <laughs> what kind of date? A social distance date. Oh, it's a mom's dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> so I came down to my basement because I am going to paint this. So Rachel painted it initially it was green it was at our entrance way and she painted it a chalk paint that i had last week but she's never painted before really and it just did not go well. i should not have given her a chalk paint anyway so i had to sand down a lot and she's procrastinating and i want to get it painted so i'm going to go ahead and paint it so i sanded it down a lot and you can see a lot of the green is coming through which is fine i want to paint it a like a semi-gloss it's going to get a lot of wear and tear but i'm also going to probably put a polyurethane coat over it so it really has good stain power so a couple things that i do to make painting a little bit easier first of all i put these things on they look like this and it means that it's off it and it's easy to paint i also add an additive to my paint it's called floetrol it's from a company called Flood, but what it does is it helps level out roller marks and brush marks and it thins out your paint a little bit, but it doesn't change it to the point of it changes the consistency or the sheen of your paint or anything like that. I've used it for years. 
I love it. You eight ounces to an entire gallon. So I had about a half a gallon. So obviously I did about four ounces and then you just mix it really well into the paint and then you, you paint as normal. It does make it so that it takes a little bit longer to dry, but that's not a big deal. I'm gonna just leave it down here in the basement. All right, one coat is done. So I wanna show you guys this. I love these things. It looks like that. And you can get them on Amazon and they hold my sheets taunt. I hate it when my sheets are all a mess when I'm sleeping. So you put it and you kind of pull these as much as possible, bring them in and then there's the little piping and this thing goes around it and you just kind of push it on the Where piping. Where do you get them? <laughs> From Amazon, Rachel. Oh. And it holds the sheets in place and then they're on the other side too. Morning guys. It is, I think like five o'clock in the morning. I've been up since 3.30, I have struggled so much with hot flashes in the morning. They start around two o'clock and then they just, they just hit like every, I'd say 15 minutes and I am so hot and drenched and I am so tired of it. I'm over it. I am, as soon as this whole thing is over, I need to go to the doctor and get my hormones checked and see if there's something that they can do. I'm not big on taking drugs or I'm not sure if I really want to go the hormone replacement route. I am over this. I need some sleep. Okay, I'm done whining. I'll be a happier person in the next <laughs> scene. <laughs> hey guys, it is Thursday and I have a full day planned. I actually got a little bit more sleep today or this morning. I still woke up at two. Literally, on cue, I woke up with a major hot flash. I looked at the clock, two o'clock on the dot. I'm like, okay, I don't get it. Does my body just go, yay, let's go? <laughs> I'll, I'll never understand hot flashes. But I did go back to sleep, and I woke up a few times in there, but for me to wake up at like 5.30 is like oh, so happy. So I was happy to get a couple hours extra. So I have this area here that I like I may change it around, but right now it's cute. But I have this that I got. I don't like that part, so I always turn it. Could be actually Target. And I need to get some something to put in it because it looks kind of plain. So I have this bucket of different greens. They're all plastic and I've gotten them all different places. But I want to find something that would kind of come out from here. The most logical would be I have these but these aren't my favorite sprigs. So I think I would like to try to adapt maybe a combination of this one with a combination of darker green. And Rachel is over here giving me the thumbs. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna see what I can come up with. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, add more of those. Like that, is that enough? I think so doesn't go like it's not deep I can't get it to uh, shove down I think there. that looks fine all right let's go look at it I don't like it in the corner either so let's do more centered like that okay that looks better I like that so I changed it again I added a light instead because this is a light I can put on when the kids are gone or one of us are gone at night and they can turn it off when they get home. So I actually like this a lot better. I don't ever put the candle on, so what's the point of having it there? If I put it there, I'd forget it. So I really like this setup. <laughs> Come on, let's go outside. Mimi's, don't you like this idea? <laughs> she looks like a dog. Come on. dog. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, it will be fun, we promise, no? <laughs> Let's see if we can bring it outside with it. We'll, yeah, we'll I swear try. it's not going to hurt you. That's the thing. I think she thinks it's like a trap. Hurting her, yeah. Maybe if she realizes she can be outside. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, nope, just going to lay down. Come on, Mimas, look, how fun. She's like, no, this is not fun. This is torture. She's like, nope, nope, not about it. I, I'm fine being inside. This is not fun. It's also cold. Oh, honey, she's scared. Maybe when it's 
not as windy. Let's just put it on her and let her be, instead of having it like with the thing, let her get used to it just being on her. She looks like she's like, she's like, what is on me? <laughs> Aw, Mimer. Oh, oh, she's mad. <laughs> Mia, what's your problem, honey? <laughs> she's so confused. <laughs> oh, she's mad. She's like, really? The egg ding egg. Oh! Constricting her when it's, it's not. It's not. It's so loose. You can put a whole hand underneath it. Memers, it really would be fun if you figure out that it's fun. Oh, honey, take it the off. The attitude. That makes me, <laughs> the attitude. Mia. That makes me sad. I don't want her to be hurt. She's not uh, hurt. Okay. It's we'll so take... loose on her. Put your paws. She there. just doesn't like it. How do you get this off her head? Oh, just look, like that. you're free. She's like, oh, oh, look, she's gonna go hide. 